You can come with me and we're gonna to go to the top of the distillation system. Scientists, even Thomas Edison, have thought about using photosynthesis as a model to create technology. So we're not the first people by a century to, to think about this, but we're the first people to make it economic when it costs you several dollars to make a milliliter of ethanol because all of your operators are PhDs. So that's the most expensive operational crew on the planet. You need to have a product that can at least recover some of your expenses. The vodka and the fragrance enable us to scale by making sure that our small scale systems are also useful from a business perspective. I'm Stafford Sheehan, the co-founder and chief technology officer of Air Company. Air Company develops technology that transforms carbon dioxide into the products that we get from fossil fuels today. This is probably the only fully integrated carbon dioxide utilization facility that takes in only water, carbon dioxide, and renewable electricity and outputs ultra high purity products like ethanol that can be used for fragrances and beverages or sustainable aviation fuel that can be used to fly an airplane. We're scaling this facility up um, around 100x. That facility is going to be able to capture and convert very large quantities of carbon dioxide into ethanol and sustainable aviation fuel, enough that we're going to be able to power commercial flights, enough that we're going to be able to actually have a measurable impact toward fighting climate change. If we deploy this technology all over the world, we could address over 10% of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas emissions. Photosynthesis that we all learn about in middle school is the process that trees use and plants use to take in carbon dioxide and water and rearrange the atoms and the CO2 in the water to make sugars or lignin plus oxygen gas. Our technology uses the same general equation as that. Oxygen is our only byproduct. This is our carbon dioxide tank. So we capture carbon dioxide together with various partners Sometimes it's captured from various different industrial or municipal sources. We can use carbon dioxide from anywhere on the planet. This is where we compress the carbon dioxide, mix it together with the hydrogen, and then preheat it to get it hot. They're passed into this gas liquid separator. That lets the gaseous byproducts go back into the reactor to be turned into more ethanol and paraffin. The liquid products come out through this line and go into this barrel right here. A catalyst is a material that enables the chemical reaction to happen faster and more efficiently. We develop a catalyst that combines carbon dioxide and hydrogen to make products. We're unique in that we're the only people that make that catalyst. In this system right here, we distill the liquid that comes out of our reactor and make pure ethanol and pure paraffins. The paraffins we use to make our aviation fuel. The reason why we targeted jet fuel, light vehicles like cars, you could use a battery, and that's going to be more efficient than us making gasoline from the air. However, batteries don't have enough energy density. They're too heavy and they'll weigh down an airplane just too much. We work together with partners. For example, we work with the U.S. Air Force, JetBlue, Virgin Atlantic. As we scale our technology, they will buy the jet fuel from us. Unlike the vodka and the fragrance, jet fuel is a commodity material. And so the volumes of it are much greater and you can have a much bigger effect toward fighting climate change by replacing fossil jet fuel with renewable jet fuel. The fuel itself is a carbon neutral product. So rather than having a product where you're pulling carbon out of the ground and putting that carbon into the air, we're using the carbon from the air in a circular fashion. Anybody I would say that's in the climate tech space is hopeful. You wouldn't be trying to address the problem if you thought we were already doomed. We're gonna keep doing this until we've addressed climate change. Thank you.